factor the polynomial. To factor a polynomial with an a value greater than 1, we need to do something called factoring by grouping. Let's start by finding the value of a times c. a is the coefficient of our first term, b is the coefficient of our second term, and c is our last term, or our constant. So in this case, a times c is going to be 3 times negative 3. And that is going to give us negative 9. Now what we need to do is list out all of the factors of negative 9 and see which two factors could be added together to give us positive 8. So here is our multiplication factor tree, and then we'll see which ones can be added or subtracted to give us positive 8. So we could have 1 and 9. That could be a negative 1 and a positive 9, or it could be a positive 1 and a negative 9. Then we have 3 and 3. Doesn't matter which positive or negative you give it to because they're the same number. And that's all the factors of 9. If we were to add or subtract 3 and 3, there's no possible way we could get 8 as a result. So we need to get rid of these as an option. Looking here, negative 1 plus 9 would give us a positive 8. 1 minus 9 would give us a negative 8. So this option does not apply. So now that we have our factors that multiply together to give us negative 9 and add together to give us positive 8, we can rewrite our expression, 3x squared, and take these two factors and add x variables to them, plus 9x minus 1x minus 3. So what we have effectively done, this was the original expression, plus 8x minus 3. We have taken 8x and split it up into two terms that when combined will give us that 8x term. This allows us to group all of our terms into two binomials so that we can factor that way. This is why it's called factoring by grouping because we are grouping two binomials to factor. So now let's look at each binomial and pull out a common factor, the greatest common factor. We could divide both of these numbers by 3 and we could also divide both of these numbers by x. Here, the two x's would cancel. We pulled a 3x out, and so we would have 9 divided by 3, which would give us 3 positive. And then these 3's would cancel. x squared divided by x would just give us x. So we have 3x times x plus 3. Now, we need to pull something out of the second binomial. Let's pull out this negative 1. So we'll have minus 1 times. We divide both of these terms by negative 1. These negative 1's will cancel, leaving us with x. And then here, anything divided by 1 is just itself, but the negatives will cancel each other out, giving us a positive 3 instead. So now we can see that our, the terms in our parentheses are identical. So we can rewrite this expression one more time as 3x minus 1, taking both of the factors we pulled out and putting them together, times x plus 3 the factors in the parentheses that were identical. And that is the fully factored form of this polynomial, making D the correct answer.